Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. It's Paul Yester here. And as you may or may not know in the public test build that we had last week, Dead by Daylight showed us that they are reworking the whole store. And part of that plan of reworking the store is making sure they have standardized pricing. So Dead by Daylight put out this tweet here today announcing with the in-game store rework coming in the 7.7 .7 update, we'll be standardizing cosmetic prices for most rarities to create a more consistent experience. While this will lead to price reductions for close to 130 cosmetics, we've identified three cosmetics that will receive a price increase as a result. The Ghost Face Classic Mask, um, the Clown's Mr. Puddle Cosmetic, and Fung Min's Demon Slayer Cosmetic. We wanted to let you know ahead of time so you have time to purchase those at their current price before the, the price increase on April 23rd. A lot of people are kind of upset about this because all they hear is the price increase part, but I'm going to show you um, demonstrable examples of where those price decreases are going to come in. Not really sure why Dead by Daylight didn't do that to kind of quell the tide because this wasn't received well for whatever reason. The comments are just like a lot, a lot of people who are upset. But basically what they want to do is make sure that cosmetics of certain rarities have the standardized price across the board. And I'll show you some concrete examples of that in a minute. But the thing that they wanted to make sure that everybody knew is that these three items are going to actually increase in price uh, starting with April 23rd. So if you don't have this ghost face mask yet, you're basically going to get it for half price if you buy it now rather than waiting. That's the most important thing. These two here on the outside, these are the, uh, the fan contest winners, Demon Slayer, Fung Min, and Mr. Puddles the Clown. And the price here is nominal. It's like 100 iridescent shards. Remember, these are a fan creations, so these are never going to be sold for real money. Never sold for Oryx Cells. Only, you can only ever get these for shards, or you got them for free in the Rift when they first came out, right? By through playtime. So anyway, these have gone up a very nominal amount of 100 uh, iridescent shards. I don't really even know why they changed it. I guess they just wanted to be consistent for that extra 100 iridescent shards. Big whoop. This is the one that you can really save some money on right now by buying it now instead of um, waiting until April 23rd when the standardized pricing goes into effect. So they go through here and they announce everything, the standardized pricing, and I'll show you actually what's going to change. So people are, like I said, I'm not going to show too many comments, but they're like, is this a reduction for prices or not? I don't know why they didn't show examples. Maybe they were just like, if we show some examples, then they're going to have to listen to people go, great, I just bought that outfit. Now I found out that price is coming down on April 23rd. Great. I don't know. I wish they would have just shown a few examples so that people would be like, oh, that's cool. We're actually saving money. Great. Uh, over 100 cosmetics will receive a price reduction as a result of the standardization but the three listed above will receive a price increase. Okay, so I'm gonna show you now some of the examples in game of what's actually gonna go down in price. Okay, so here we are in the store, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for any outliers where the price is head and shoulders above that chart that they gave us for the standardized pricing, and we'll be able to identify which ones are gonna decrease in price here. I don't think there are any, I haven't seen any of the, um, the very rare, the purples, it seems like most of the price reductions are going to be in the, the green section, actually. So if we scroll down here, those are all 1,080. But when we get into the greens here for the rare outfits, we start to see some that are head and shoulders priced above the rest. So this is 810 Oryx Cell, 16,200 Iridescent Shards, while all the other greens are 675, 13,500, 675, 13,500, etc., etc., so this one, the one with the flamingos, this one is actually going to decrease in price to match that that 675 price, right? So that's where these uh, savings are going to come in in the green rarities here. This one too, this one is uh, 297, and that one's going to come down to 270. So this is where the savings and price reductions are going to be for that standardized pricing. I saw some examples here for David King as well when we scroll down through his stuff. 1080s all look consistent, right? But when we get down here into the greens, we see this one is 945 Oryx cells instead of 675. So that's the one that you're going to see the reduction on, right? As well as the, the shard pricing will decrease down too from 18,900 to 13,500. 
even in the David has a um, an uncommon outfit here that is also a little bit pricier. 324 or excels instead of 270 so that's where the savings are going to come in these price reductions that they're they're talking about there's some on the killer side here too um let's see these original store offerings for the nurse here yeah this this hazmat this hazmat nurse is 810 instead of 675 like the other two recolors so just to be consistent they're going to reduce the price on these outliers here that are um, more money for the same rarity. Rarities are going to be standard pricing here, right? There's even a trapper one here. Yeah, maybe there's more than one trapper one, actually. Yeah, there's a couple. Look, we have a couple trapper ones here. Like this one is going to be the same price as this one. They're going to reduce this one down to 675 to be consistent. And this one here, the uh, Sinner Slaughter. Is going to match the same price as scarred corruption and blast furnace they're going to reduce these so these are the examples they're talking about when they're saying that you know over whatever it is 130 cosmetics are going to be reduced in price that's what they're talking about maybe they don't want to get into it too much into the weeds <laughs> hoping that people who bought them at full price are going to be like well so am i getting some money back for all these cosmetics that i paid extra on am i going to see uh you know a a a refund here this one too this um, Miss Kitty Huntress is 810, so that one's going to get reduced down to 675. So that's what they're talking about for these price reductions. Uh, are they going to go back and retroactively refund people? Probably not, because there were other times like where cosmetics were on sale as well, and people got cosmetics for different prices on sale, and you know anybody who paid full price didn't get money back because they went on sale, right? So probably going to be uh, observed with that same lens that you know, hey. Going forward now, if you if you you don't have it, you can save some money on it on April twenty third instead of what you would have paid um, today. This Malding Blight here is another example of that eight ten price. It's going to go down to six seventy five. But uh, yeah, so that's what it's all about. Prices going down is a good thing, even if it doesn't apply to you. It's good for the whole community, save the community some money. I'm glad they're doing standardized pricing instead of you know. For whatever reason, this outfit was considered back in the day to be worth more money than this. Why? No idea. But I, I, I like it. I'm glad that they're doing this standardized pricing and that it'll have a real consistent feel for the store. Seems very appropriate for the, the store rework. But that's all I have to show you today just to kind of clear that up because it seems like the, the waters were a little muddy with the, the tweet on the face of it so i decided to dive in and see well what are they actually talking about for these price um the standardized price decreases that's what it's all about all right that's all i have to show you today thank you so very much for watching as always i appreciate the time you spend here with me on my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe as it helps the channel a ton and we'll see you again next time have a great day everybody bye bye it's a generous life for us it's a generous life for us. Set a hiding, we do gens. Set a randoms, we got friends. It's a generous life.